Off the coast of Plymouth, they're planting hope. Inside these hessian bags are seeds of seagrass, dropped to the bottom by volunteers from the Ocean Conservation Trust. They should grow into a lush underwater meadow. More than 18,000 bags will cover an area equivalent to 12 football pitches. Seagrass is a bit of a super plant. It's really important, um, provides us many ecosystem services. So it traps carbon from the atmosphere, does this really efficiently, can be up to 35 times more efficient than rainforest in capturing carbon in its sediment. It provides some protection from our storms and wave events, so it provides its coastal protection, it buffers against the impact of the sea. Seagrass also shelters five times as many fish as bare seabed, but 92% of the meadows that once surrounded the coast have been lost, largely because of pollution. If Britain's seagrass meadows were restored to how they once were, they'd store up to 11.5 million tonnes of carbon. That's roughly 3% of our annual emissions. It doesn't get us off doing the hard stuff, reducing our own emissions. But nature-based solutions can help. The planet is heading towards one and a half degrees of warming and the tipping points that could lead to the melting of vast ice sheets and dieback of the Amazon. But new research shows as long as it's quickly cooled, the worst effects of climate change could be avoided. We still need to put our efforts into reducing carbon emissions, um, taking carbon out of the atmosphere, reduce warming because the safest option is still to not cross these tipping point thresholds. If we were to cross a tipping point threshold, then the message is don't give up, because all hope is not lost yet. Um, there might still be this opportunity that we can get back and avoid the catastrophic change. Nature removes carbon from the atmosphere far more cheaply and efficiently than any existing technology. Replanting seagrass is a start and it could have a crucial future. Thomas Moore, Sky News, Plymouth.